Okay, this is exciting time for us. We are making a studio upgrade and this is a big one for us. We are finally getting ourselves an analog mixing console. And this is not just any mixing console. This is the console I have been dreaming about since 1994. And the console is a Soundtrix Jade and was the flagship of the Soundtrix consoles. And it's a big one. And I mean it's a big one. It's 2 meter wide, it weighs 217 kilos. And the power supply requires a separate machine room just because it's so powerful, big and noisy. One thing we didn't think of when getting the console was how the heck are we going to get it up the stairs and into the door? The first thing we did was to mount the stands and look at them, these are heavy duty. To move a 200 kilo mixing console is quite a challenge. And even though we take away the legs, the stand, and took away the input channels, it weighs a lot. And it's really difficult to get a good grip on it. We are four people carrying the desk, including me. And the other three friends of mine that were kind enough to help me out with the desk was not just any random friends. No, these three guys are working professionally in the music industry. One is a sound engineer, one is a lighting engineer, and one I've been working very much with. Station loading in trucks with music equipment into large venues. So this is not the first mixing console these guys are lifting. But when handling stuff on a tour, everything is packed into cases, which makes it a lot easier. It's actually really difficult to get a good grip around the console since it has a lot of fragile parts like faders and connectors. We had to remove the studio door to have the slightest chance to get the desk inside the studio. And luckily enough we could open the doors to the studio next to ours so that we could turn the desk around and tilt it and lean it into our studio. That was the only way to get it in here. As you can see, this is so tight. Another sound engineer friend of mine suggested that we should borrow his wheelbarrow. And it was such a great idea. With the wheelbarrow underneath the mixing console, we were able to drag the mixing console up the stairs on the wheels of the wheelbarrow. That was such a good idea. Man, you have no idea how good it felt to come to this stage. To know that we actually got the console up the stairs and now it's inside the studio. From now on we can take just easy and let it take its time. Time for the last lifting moment and now it's all about just being careful and finding the right spot 
Since there are openings underneath the desk, it's really crucial so that there's no ribbon cables getting stuck between the console and the stands. As you probably can imagine, it's such a great feeling to have the console in place in the studio and that it seems to have worked out really, really well. So the next video will be about putting in the channel strips into the console, which is going to be super exciting. So if you find this interesting, Please like this video, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.